In this video, we'll be going over the sig figs or significant figure rules for addition and subtraction. Uh, we have three examples here. Let's go into it. The first one, 7.8 minus 2.11. So that when you're first learning it, the easiest way is to just line the numbers up on top of each other. So we'll put 7.8 minus 2.11, just like an elementary school line, the decimal points up. Then we'll just execute this first, 7.8 minus 2.11. That's 5.69. Then we, we're going to underline the last significant figure in each each of these numbers. So this is going to be last the last significant figure eight, and this is the last significant figure one. And we're just going to bring down the, the significant figure that is the most to the left. So the most to the left here is the eight. We'll bring that down. That means that the final sig fig is going to be the six. Then we have to look at the number next to it and see if we're going to, if we're going to round up or not. Nine is greater than five so then this is going to become 5.7 if this was a three if it was less than five then we wouldn't round and become it would just be 5.6 all right and the next problem to start we'll just line everything up and then we'll add the numbers together then we'll underline the last sig fig in each each of the the numbers that'll be the zero is the last significant figures because zeros in the end will count if there's a decimal point and then the last significant figure in the second number is going to be the one and the one is more to the left than the zero so that means we're going to carry that that bar down here and then the three is going to be the last sig fig then we look at the number next to the three and we see that it is less than five so that means that our final answer will just be will just be that because we're not going to round up to three okay in this in this next one let's try not writing it out vertically and just uh just doing it horizontally. So first, we're going to just add all these numbers together. Then let's take a look at the last sig fig in each of the numbers. So the last sig fig here is the 5, the 6, and the 2. And let's take a look at what place the last sig fig's in. This is the 100th place, this is the 1,000th place, and this is the 1 place. Or you can just think about how many digits is it away from the decimal point. Two digits away from decimal point, three digits away, and one digit away. And then the ones that's going to be the most to the left is the one that's the, the least digit away from the decimal point. So that'll just be the one. So one digit away from the decimal point, that'll correspond to the five. And we look at the number next to the five, which is a three. Since three is less than five, um, then that means we're not going to round up. So that means the final answer will be 150.3. All right, let's go do a couple more examples for you to get the hang of it. Now, first step, just add these numbers together. Second step, let's take a look at what place the last sig fig's in. The last sig fig's a six. The last sig fig here is a seven. So this is the hundredth place, or two places away from the decimal. And this is the thousandth place, three places away from decimal. So this is two places away from decimal. This is closer to the to the left. So that means that we're, our last sig fig is going to be the three, which is the, two, the hundredth place as well. Look at the number next to the three, which is a seven. That means that we're going to have to round this up. So this becomes 40. 0.44. We rounded the three up to a four because the number after it was greater than five. Okay, this next one, this one's a little a little challenging. Let's um let's right line this one up. So 3,800 plus 130. Let's start by just adding those together. 3930. Then let's underline the last sig fig. So the last sig fig here is actually going to be the eight. These are ending zeros, and ending zeros will only count if there's a decimal point. So since there's no decimal point here, the 8 is the last sig fig. And then in this one, the last sig fig would be just the, the 3, because this is, again, the ending zero. So that means that the 8 would be, or that place would be the last, the last sig fig, because that's the sig fig that's most, the most to the left. Again, you underline, you look at which sig fig is the most to the left, and then you carry that down. So that means in our final answer, the nine is going to be our last sig fig. And then we look at the number next to it is a three. That means that we are not going to round. So then this just becomes 39. But then we have to put the zero, zero as a placeholder. I can't just leave it as 39 because 39 is very different from 3,930. So I just put enough zeros until I get to that decimal point that would have been there. The 3,900 is way closer to 3,930. And that's how you would take care of the significant figures with addition and subtraction. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, 
then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.